Welcome to Luxury, the place where future billionaires come to find their inspiration. Hello there! We are thrilled to see so many of you embarking on your path to financial success. Today, we have prepared a delightful list for you. Some lighthearted observation about habits that can hinder our progress and keep us from reaching our full potential. Remember that these tidbits plan to ignite the spark of self-reflection within you and motivate you to enhance your current situation. Of course, we acknowledge that circumstances can differ for everyone and not everyone has control over them. However, by being aware of these habits and activities, you might gain a slight advantage. Who knows? By bidding farewell to these patterns, you could find yourself even closer to that dream goal you have been cherishing. Approach these with a splash of whimsy and a dash of curiosity. Here are 10 realistic habits that set the rich from the poor. Very first on the list, right off the bat, let's talk about retail therapy. That habit of going on shopping sprees to feel better. Can you believe that a whopping 96% of people do this, even if it's for silly reasons like thinking buying stuff will magically make them happier? It's mostly the younger crowd and teens who fall for it, using shopping as a way to escape life's problems. But here's the thing. If you want to be wealthy and successful, you gotta resist that urge. Instead, find smart and budget-friendly ways to de-stress. Not all shopping is bad, but future millionaires know how to make wise choices. That's how they get ahead in the money game. They understand that true wealth is not acquired through fleeting material possessions obtained through retail therapy, but rather through thoughtful and strategic actions that generate long-term financial stability and success. Next up for the second one, we have another money habit that's pretty damaging. Relying on miracles. Picture this. People with fragile mindsets put all their faith in destiny expecting a miracle to swoop in and magically solve all their financial problems overnight. These hopeful souls eagerly anticipate a stroke of luck, whether it's winning the lottery and becoming an instant millionaire, stumbling upon hidden treasure trove of 100 bills on the sidewalk or receiving a sudden windfall from a generous and wealthy relative. But here's the catch. Instead of taking action and facing their financial challenges head-on, they fall into a dangerous trap of doing nothing. On the flip side, folks with a different mindset actively seek out creative ideas and solutions to make money. They are the ones to take charge, tackle obstacles, and thrive. So, while this fatalist stays stuck in poverty, the go-getters flourish and prosper. Another harmful habit that the poor often fall into, lifestyle inflation. Yep, that's the third one. As we grow older, we start dreaming of a fancier, more luxurious life, and we crave extravagant indulgences that go beyond what our bank accounts can handle. And this perpetuates our state of being broke. Here's the thing. The difference between being poor and being wealthy lies in how we balance our income and expenses. When someone like Bill Gates spends $2 million on a house, it does not throw their financial equilibrium off balance. But for someone earning a modest $75,000 a year, splurging $30,000 on luxury is not a wise move. The financially successful simply know how to manage their resources wisely. They make smart decisions about where to spend their hard-earned cash and find a harmonious balance between enjoying the good things in life and being responsible with their finances. Let's talk about something interesting. Getting interest-free loans. It's a habit worth discussing. The idea of a loan without any interest may sound too good to be true. And that's because it usually is. Nothing in life is truly free. Only those who don't know much about finance and business would believe it without question. Or maybe it's a folks looking for shortcuts or avoiding hard work who get lured by the idea of an interest-free loan. Be careful with credit cards or stores offering these loans. They might tempt you to spend more than you can afford. It's essential to read the terms and conditions carefully, and if possible, even read between the lines to uncover any hidden catches. Our message is simple. Don't get too excited about seemingly free offers. Instead, 
be cautious and evaluate everything thoroughly before taking the leap. It's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your finances. For the next one, we have reckless credit card behavior. It is so terrible of a habit that it's number five on our list. Did you know that the average American with a credit card is around $5,500 in debt? That's a lot of money. One thing rich people are good at is controlling their emotions, especially when it comes to spending. But for those who struggle financially, this credit card habit can get them into big trouble. They might not have enough money for basic stuff like food and healthcare. That's no good. The best way to escape this mess is to make a budget and stick to it like glue. It's not easy, but it's the most effective strategy. With a budget, you will be in control of your spending and avoid getting buried in credit card debt. Before we continue, I want to take a moment and ask you to hit that subscribe button right now and also feel free to share if you've ever experienced any instances of these habits in your own life and whether or not you're actively overcoming these bad habits. Comment it all down below. Okay, let's get back to the video. Alright, let's talk about the sixth one not having an emergency fund. This is a big deal, even more important than the previous habit. Having an emergency fund means saving up money for unexpected stuff that can happen in life. And trust me, life can throw some crazy surprises at you, no matter who you are or where you are from. Smart folks who plan ahead and are responsible keep a good amount of money set aside just for emergencies. It's like having a safety net for when things go wrong. They think ahead, do some serious financial planning, and make sure they are ready to handle whatever challenges come their way. For number seven, paying bills late. It is a bad habit that can really mess up your finances. I mean, if you know you gotta pay something, why put it off? Here's the deal. Paying bills late comes with a price. You will end up shelling out extra cash for those annoying late fees. And that's money that could have stayed in your pocket, right? Plus, being a late payer can hurt your reputation. You don't want people thinking you're unreliable or flaky when it comes to money matters. Now, here's the thing. This habit is not just about being broke or going through a tough time. It's more about how we think and act when it comes to money. We gotta kick this habit to the curb and start managing our money responsibly. So... Let's break free from the late payment cycle. It's time to be on top of our bills and keep our hard-earned money where it belongs. For the eighth one, allow me to shed light on the practice of avoiding responsibility for financial failures, a habit worth discussing. When faced with financial setbacks, many individuals tend to shift blame onto external circumstances or other individuals in order to evade accountability. This reflects a lack of a growth mindset as they failed to examine their own decision-making. Consequently, they missed out on valuable opportunities to learn from their mistakes. Taking responsibility and reflecting on these failures, on the other hand, allows for the accumulation of knowledge and experience, providing valuable insights to overcome similar challenges in the future. Claiming the ninth spot on our list is a habit of shopping for status. It is a habit that so many people get caught up in. Here's the deal. Some folks think that buying a bunch of stuff will make them look important and high class. But honestly, the idea is pretty empty and meaningless. It's not about flashy clothes or fancy gadgets. Take a look at folks like Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. They don't need to dress all flashy to be seen as successful. Their achievements speak for themselves. So let's take a page from their book and aim for real accomplishments. It's not about what you wear or how much you spend but what you do that really matters. All right, let's wrap it up with the last Impulse buying. Trust me, it's a big money killer. Here's the deal. Even if you have a tiny urge to buy something on a whim, you're putting yourself at the mercy of sneaky business tricks. Those eye-catching displays in store windows are meant to make you spend your money on stuff you don't really need. They know how to push your buttons and make you give in to those impulsive desires. But guess what? If you are in control of your money habits, you won't fall for those traps. 
you will be able to resist the temptation and make smart choices with your money. So remember, don't let those flashy displays and impulsive urges lead you astray. Stay in charge of your spending and make sure every purchase is something you actually need and value. Your wallet will thank you. If you enjoyed this video and want to like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. By subscribing to our channel, you will never miss out on grow and bring you even more videos. So go ahead, smash the subscribe button and join our community of passionate future billionaires. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or entertaining. We appreciate your support. And if you have any questions or thoughts, we would love to hear from you in the comments below. So, go ahead, like, subscribe, and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching!